What's going on? It's Low for Low Nose back at you with another tech take. And this, my friends, is the Runhood Rally 600 Max. This is a modular portable power station. Now, what makes this different from all the other power stations or modular stations out there? Well, I'll tell you right now, this thing is a beast. When you see the ads for this, they'll show people using this at the park, maybe at the beach, or maybe at a party. This thing provides so much power that you can actually power so many different things. Mini fridges, a TV, a projector, a sound system this is an all-in-one now i'm getting really excited about that because through my experiences i didn't get to test it in that kind of capacity i had more of a real world experience when it came to this we lost power in my house for about 24 hours so during that time i was like oh you know what thank goodness for this we're gonna see what this can actually do in that situation when i have no power in the house and i'll tell you right now it came through like a chance like a champ now before we get into that let me give you a closer look at this i said before this is a modular power station map i said before this is a modular power station so what does that mean well that means that your battery is not installed or integrated or a part of this it's actually you can actually remove and separate it so you'll see here that i have two power stations right here in the back i can press these buttons one button on top of each one and i can just pull the power out that's one power. You see how big this thing is? That's one. And I can do the other one. Press the button. And it comes out just like just like that. And you can see how basically these are your bays from your, of course, your station. So it can actually power your station right here. Let's take a closer look at the actual power bricks. And of course, you can see just how big these things are. There's a power button at the top so you can see the status of your power brick. Right now we have full bars there, and of course we have full bars here as well. I charged these, fully charged these before the review. And of course you can see I have handles here to actually hold it uh, once installed in the back. And you have your charging ports in the front. Again, fully modular. Uh, the actual, the Rally 600 Max comes with four batteries. Uh, so we have two more additional batteries right here. And of course I have the two batteries already inside the Rally X. Now, the same way you saw me taking out, it's the same way you put it in. Just take your battery, slide it in, and you're good to go. Now, you don't need both batteries batteries in there to charge this. You can use one at a time or both at the same time. And if one battery dies, again, there goes the modular. You can take it right out, switch it with another battery, and plug it right back in. Now, it has some other cool features you'll see uh, as we move forward. You can use these batteries independently with the accessories that come with it all right so there we go oh and it turned on so let's get a closer look at this let me bring it to the top for you all right now let me just turn it back off all right there we go all right so from the top you can see that you have your fan grill uh right there when this works overload there's a fan inside of it to actually keep it cool you have your led button your digital display where i can take this let me uh oh okay well that didn't come off the way i thought it would you have your digital display. Uh, you have your DC in 24 volt. This is your charging port uh, that you can use to actually charge the device. So you can actually charge your batteries within your power station. When you see these blue circles or this blue ringer here, this means these are, these are the ports that you can use to actually charge this device. You have a QC 3.0 28 watt USB port right here. So let's just say if you want to connect your smartphone or tablet, this does support quick charging through these ports. Let me back up. Power delivery 100 watt in and out from here. Like I said before, you can use this, you can use this port to charge this device or 100 watts out to charge things like a laptop, a monitor, anything that's using USB-C power draw uh, to power the device right here. And of course, you have a second power delivery 100 watt at the bottom as well. Two 12 volt 5A power sources out right here to connect whatever devices you have that use those ports. You have a 12 volt 10 amp here. This is your car port, meaning you can actually charge your car battery. If it's dying, you can charge your car battery uh, with this power station. Now, I wanna be clear, this is not going to, it's not going to jumpstart your car. What it's going to do is provide some charge to your battery over time so your car can eventually get started great device to have if you're in a pinch especially you know speaking about the car we can turn the power on and let's just say maybe you're on the side of the road you're trying to charge that battery you need light it's really dark you have your led light here we can bring a light um a small light no how's it a bright light a dimmer light and of course you can do your sos signal right there 
as far as a warning so people know that uh, you're in distress and you're actually trying to get through whatever situation you're going through. We move to the left, we have our AC power bank on, we can press it. It turns that on, you can hear the fans kicking on. Uh, this lets you connect any kind of appliance that has your normal power plug in. You have two of them right there at 110, 110 volts. This little portion right here is 600 watts output total. Now, when I get into uh, my story of how we actually use this, it shows a display of how much watts you're actually, the max output of that area at the, at the same time, the amount of watts you're actually putting out at the same time. So if you ever wondered what device, how much power device was putting out, the display will let you know from either device, either port here, what's going on. But yeah, so you have two AC power outputs right here. You'll see right here, there's a, there's a gap here. Sometimes you'll have some power cables that have the three prongs, the two on the top and one on the bottom. That's just the ground. You can actually slide it in there and it'll still power that as well. And of course, we can go back to DC. You can press it on and that actually powers that as well. And we'll go back to the to the LCD screen. You're seeing it's, it's keeping charge of everything. How many, how much hours you have less for charging, your discharging time, your input watts, your output watts, your total battery status so far that is left. And of course, other devices that you have connected on the bottom. Um, battery one and two are on, AC is on, DC is on, and Oh yeah, and USB power is on as well. All right, so that's the power station. What accessories do you get with it? Well, this is the accessory bag that comes with it inside the box. You'll get some kind of literature literature that you can overlook. Um, but for the main part, this is your, well, you also get an instruction manual for your power station model as well. And you'll get your, first thing I pulled out, this is your solar power cable that comes with your run hood. Meaning if you have a, let's just say you have a, a solar power panel, a portable one that you can use here, you can plug it right here. You can plug it into the front and then connect this end to your solar power panel cable. So you can actually charge this device while it's being used and charging the batteries at the same time with your solar power uh, cable. Unfortunately me, I don't have a solar power cable so I can't show you that example, but this is what this cable is for. It's for then you have your traditional you've got an ac adapter with your power cord just plug it in right there on the top your charger plug into the wall and then you're charging this over time okay this is probably the fastest way you can charge it but at the same time if you want to get double charge you can connect through you can connect the charge through here and the usb c and you'll get a double power draw to charge your battery so if you're really in a so if you're really trying to charge this pretty fast, you can always switch to that. All right, our next cord that comes with it is, remember before we mentioned how you can use this on your car, this is your car adapter cord right here that you plug in of course into here, plug in the cord, and now you're able to charge the battery within your car, so hopefully you can get a, a jump. All right, so let me put these away and let's get to the accessories that come with it because man, it comes with plenty of accessories that really make this above and beyond a great value. All right, first accessory we'll take a look at right here is our, this is our AC expansion port. Now, again, I said this is a, this is a modular, modular power station. We already have two batteries inside here and we also get two more additional batteries. So what can we do? Well, with these expansion ports, we can use our spare power cords as ad as additional devices that we can use. So if I want, if I have a lamp or a fan or something, and I don't want to use the charge from here as well, I can use a separate power bank from here. So let's depict, let's take the power bank from here. I have not yet charged these. I think right now I only have. Two, power, two lights in there, but if I want to use it, all I have to do is just bring this here and plug it in. And now I have a power bank right here and I can plug in any kind of device in, in there as well. To kind of give you an example, right now I'm using my studio light. I'm going to I'm gonna connect my studio light to this throughout the rest of the video so you can see how, how much this does it. Now this studio light, I think it maxes out at 
so let me see this is 110 volts 80 watts this one this light pushes out 33 volts so let's go ahead and plug into there and yeah here we go this power pack right here which is connected to my light right there is powering it and it's going to power it for the duration of the video i only have two lights left so hopefully it goes longer but yeah but wait there's more so not only can you add additional ports there if, if these are two if these two are taken up you can use this battery pack to power another device that you want but now if you want an additional one of these ports we can use this additional sex accessory the portable power station the usb engine we can open it up and you see we have a replacement right here for it an additional power delivery 100 max in and out and of course you got the blue the blue circle around it so that means you can actually charge this device with uh from this port by usb if you wanted to power delivery 100 max watts out as well again for laptops or other devices that power through usb c and i can go ahead and just bring out the fourth one i can match them up plug them in and we're good to go there all right so and our last accessory we have this is the, the solar power battery charger as a uh, charger. Now, like I said before, I don't have the solar panel uh, for myself, but what this does, instead of the cord that came with the run hood to actually connect it to the solar power and charge the actual station, station itself with the batteries in it, what this allows you to do is charge the individual batteries themselves directly to the solar power panel. So this connection here would go to the backs yeah, to the backs of the power panel, one here, and then one here. This would go to our cord that's included with the, the thing. And of course we connect this directly to our solar power panel and then we're charging the batteries directly. We're charging these batteries directly from the solar power panels that you have. So again, this kit comes with everything. All right, story time. How did I fare? when all the power went out and I decided to test this bad boy to give it a run for its money. Well, again, during that time, I really didn't know what I was getting myself into. Everything in the house was completely out and I wanted to start off small. So I first started with our juicer cause I was thirsty. Um, to my surprise, my juicer used a three prong and I thought, oh, what am I gonna do? This only does two and I really didn't follow up or, you, you know, know that I could actually still use that. So I took a chance, plugged it in. Of course, the bottom one is just the ground. It has that spot there to pick up the ground and it powered my juicer, no problem. And if you look on the panel, you can see exactly the amount of power that it's drawing from the actual power and how much is left as far as the charge is concerned. So that worked fantastic. It powered it just fine. I'm like, all right, well, I've got a lot of power here. What else can I power? So I got a little bit daring and I decided to power my Xbox, my modem, and my TV at the same time. And get this, I connected it all to a power strip. So I had the power strip connected to one of these ports right here, the top one specifically, and I powered it just fine. And I was gaming for a good amount of time. And of course you can see the power usage that was being used at the time, the power max that's, that was being, that was left from the battery, and also how much power it had left to power that kind of, that setup. Again, keep that in mind. If you're overloading this thing with a lot of high powered things such as an xbox a tv and a modem you're going to drain the battery even faster on that so you want to be wise with how you're using up your power in situations like that okay so we're still out of power and again it's getting hot there's no ac so i decided to connect my fan to this and i did and that worked just fine laid on the floor didn't take up a lot of power so i had plenty of time i had plenty of juice left to power my fan. Now, at that time, I didn't know I could actually use this. I could have actually just plugged my fan to this and not use up the power that was coming from here and save up that time just from here. And I just, I could have used it on anything else. Either way, super convenient, it, super powerful, charged a lot of things beyond my expectation. And I was thoroughly impressed and, and happy at the same time that this was actually available for me at a, at a time that we really needed it. Uh, when the power in our house went out and it came through like a champ. So yeah, that's the Run Hood Rally 600 Max Portable Modular Power Station. Really hope this video will help you out. Enjoy.
As always, I'll leave links in the description down below so you can pick up your own Red Hood Rally Max 600 or 600 Max. Uh, guys, do me a favor, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can, you know, check out future videos that are coming out, cool reviews like this. Also, uh, hit that like button if you like what's going on here and also ding that notification so you can be notified for future videos as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, I appreciate it. Take care. Bye.